Smith, Smith Township could have a lot more green space here soon. The trustees submitted a list of six houses today that they want to see torn down. First News reporter Abigail Cloutier talked to local leaders about the process and the benefits they say it brings. You can see this house behind me. The roof is caving in. The walls are falling outward. It's one of six houses that the Smith Township trustees have submitted to the land bank for demolition. Trustee Terry Chris tells me all the houses are abandoned and in bad shape. This one on Lake Park Row has a crumbling foundation and broken windows and is a blight in the community. Over the year, we get a list of nuisance properties that are empty, you know, nobody's living there and they're starting to fall in. Chris tells me if the properties are chosen, the land bank will schedule when they're torn down. But ones like these two trailers on Lake Park Road are overgrown and unsightly. An unsightly property, nobody wants to live beside it. So the goal is to try to hit those as hard as we can without depleting the township funds, obviously. If the properties like this one on 12th Street and North Benton are chosen through the land bank, it'll only cost the township in legal fees, much less than the long process and thousands of dollars per house it would take to do a loan. It's probably close to $10,000 to tear down a house and abate it in case it has asbestos or septic or a well. Once the properties are torn down, adjacent homeowners have the chance to buy the property for a dollar. If you live beside a house that's falling in, you'd they like to beautify the area. It's a simple, it's a great process if you can get the land for a dollar. Chris says there are between 10 and 15 more houses the township is eyeing up for demolition. In Smith Township, Abigail Cloutier, WKBN 27 First News.